Hey everyone, it's Eric. In this video, I'm going to walk you through this remote solar-powered security camera system that I built to monitor traffic coming on and off of my property. In a previous video, you may recall that I did a repair of a solar panel. This is that project that I used that solar panel on, so now you get to see it in action. Uh, what I'll do is I'll walk you through the components, software, code, um, and how I put the pieces together. Uh, but if you really want the detail, down below is a link to an article that I put together with all specifications, places you can go to download uh, software, and uh, the parts if you want to try and replicate or build something similar. To walk you through the components, up on top I have a weatherproof camera enclosure. You may recognize the style of camera enclosure. This is a pretty common, especially in commercial use, camera enclosure. Um, I intentionally picked this because I wanted something that people would uh, associate with the camera and know right away that they were getting recorded. Inside the camera enclosure is a Raspberry Pi 0W and a no infrared filter Raspberry Pi camera. I'll show you inside in just a moment. Attached down below, I've got a 12 volt infrared LED panel. And that's got a ambient light sensing photoresistor on it. So that way, when the sun goes down, it becomes dark outside. I can still have night vision and capture uh, traffic and uh, the deer as they come through my property. Powering it all, I have a 100 watt, 12 volt solar panel. This one's from Renogy. And I'll walk you around the back in a moment where I'll show you the charge controller, the battery, how it's all wired together. I, Holding it all together is a pressure treated lumber frame, custom frame that I, I built. You may notice that it's at a fairly steep angle, it's about 65 degrees. Uh, this was intentional and the reason for this is I live just north of the 45th parallel in the Pacific Northwest where we get a very small amount of usable solar radiation at the darkest part of winter. So I wanted something that would maximize the winter solar power. Uh, it does mean that I'm not going to get as much total output during the summer, uh, but that's okay. Really all I need is enough power out of it in order to top off the battery every day. Um, so it's, it's perfectly fine at this type of an angle. Next up I'll grab the camera, I'll kind of walk you around uh, and show you what's inside. Here is the internal of the camera mount. As you can see I've got the Raspberry Pi 0W in the middle there. And uh, up on the edge of the window, I've got attached the Raspberry Pi infrared camera. Uh, this is running a uh, software package called Pigeon, which does configuration for uh, motion and a Dropbox uploader. Now, those are used to record all live video. And then uh, when motion is detected, it goes and captures that, uploads it to Dropbox, so that that way I've got a cloud-based copy of any video that's captured. Down below, I've got a weatherproof enclosure and a uh, solar charge controller. Uh, it, the solar charge controller on the solar panel, plus all the connectors, came as part of a kit from Renogy. I'll put a link down to that uh, below as well. Uh, and then of course I've got a 20 amp hour battery, a uh, deep cycle battery, um, which powers the whole thing uh, when there is no sunlight. So that's the whole system. All my cable management is all back behind here. It's all mounted together. That's it. I'll go put it in the yard now. And bonus footage. I have the same thing built into a panel on my front porch. Um, inside this panel, kind of custom panel that I put together, I've got a AC adapter, another Raspberry Pi Zero W, and in this case, a wide angle Raspberry Pi Zero lens. This picks up everything on my front porch. Again, anyone walks up on my front porch, any motions will be detected out here. It's all picked up, it's captured, it's uploaded to my Dropbox, and works wonderful. I should.